thing about New York is that your senses are under assault 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when you make something, whether it be a painting or a photograph or a song, it's somewhere where you can go to escape. Forming this band, it was easy because we were already all friends, you know? And then yeah. Pete came through a friend. I moved here in 2005 from Cleveland, Ohio, and just been around New York playing in bands. Me and Max moved to New York together in 2008. We lived in a hallway together in a bunk bed. Yeah, bunk bed. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> we just really wanted to play music, and I figured, why not move to the greatest city in the world? just felt exciting. Unleashed as an 18 year old on this island. All of our taste is very on par with each other. So like we had an idea of what we wanted to do. We put a song on the internet and there was some internet hype and we played a show at this bar, Niagara on 7th and A, and kind of just tried to make the most of it and get everybody there. It's important to always be working and writing. That's just kind of our vibe and trying to stay as busy as we can. That's the lure of the neighborhood. Like, everyone's doing something. Everyone's hustling all the time, and you can't really fall asleep. Yeah, you really got to go. I've lived here for 10 years, so the city influences who I am. It influences how I play, probably. You got um, that strong New York beat? Yeah, it's ridiculously strong. We're just very particular about the music that we make and we want to be happy with it. And we took our time to do that. I feel like now, more than ever, we kind of all where we want to be and happy with the record and like ready to just get out of town and work as much as we can and tour as much as we can. You know, we're in these villages, there's a lot of history, like we know the history in our core, but New York's a city where like, what happened in the past isn't really so important as what's happening right now. You can't look back. <laughs>